If I'm ever looking for Stewie and I don't know where he's at, I just get a bag of chips out. Why? You are crazy. What is up ladies and gents? So today, Jerry called me the other day and the bumpers for the Accord are done. So we are going to bust ass today and get that thing finished. I gotta go get the bumpers. We wanna do a little bit of plasti dip on the front bumper to update the look. Uh, I have the interior tore apart that I need to put back together. The trunk is tore apart, needs to go back together. Gotta rotate the tires, do an oil change, clean it, which it's below freezing, but I am still going to wash it outside if my hose isn't frozen. And uh, I'll bring it in the garage and we'll dry it off and everything. And then, um, yeah, just get it ready so we can do our ad. So, um, it's going to be an eventful day. Um, it took so long on the bumpers because Jerry was sick and he was behind on work. So, uh, that's why it took, I, I don't know what, it was two or three weeks until you got it painted so no big deal I had other work to do so I got caught up on that stuff um, and then the next question is going to be um, after I get this done uh, I do definitely want to get the Eclipse done but do we look for another build or I still have the parts sitting here I need to rebuild my dirt bike uh, I was going to pull the motor on it and uh, do the full rebuild on that. So um, we'll see what what you guys' opinions are. And I also have a lot of stuff that I need to do in the garage. And uh, I got to build myself a workbench. Uh, basically, once I get the Accord done, I'm going to move the Eclipse over. And where the Eclipse is at is going to be a workspace. Um, I come to terms. I, I said about maybe painting cars there or whatever. It's just it's just not gonna happen. I don't have the setup for paint. It's I mean I might paint parts, but I'm not gonna be painting whole cars. So that's it's not really. The, but I, I want to have a work area there. I want to have a workbench. I want to have like my tools. Uh, I want to have an area where I can weld and and stuff like that. So I kind of want to set that up too. But that's all down the road. So let's jump on this Accord and get it done. So uh, we can get somebody out there a nice work beater or a reliable vehicle. All right, so my dad's going with me because he needs to go to the farm and that's out by Jerry's. So uh, um, I might not record much because he doesn't like to be on camera, but I will get back to you guys. I, I don't know. I might get a little bit of filming, but when I get back, then I'll start filming again. All right, boys and girls, I'm back with the parts. And if you can see that, it is another flawless paint job from Hershey's Body Magic. I just I just can't I can't paint like that. I can't match that that quality. And this was cheap paint. I bought the cheapest line that uh, the paint store downtown carried and it's flawless. It looks good. Except for the front bumper. It's still in the grill area where the paint was lifting and I couldn't get it all sand. Jerry sanded it more and it still lifted in some areas like the paint that we couldn't get off. So thankfully that's why Plasti Dip is coming into play on this one and it's going to make it more updated. We're, so we're going to do the grill area, the top and the bottom and I'll show you guys once I get this stuff in the grill.
as you can see, these bumpers turned out almost flawless. Um, another perfect paint job. I can't, I can't touch this stuff. I'm telling you. Um, the rear bumper is near perfect because of having a good paint base underneath um, and not having to sand it down to nothing. The front bumper would be perfect if I could have got all of that paint off, but the areas where there was loose paint at, and uh, Jerry even sanded it himself, um, is where we're gonna do the plastic dip at. But as you can see, here, here, you know, on these, paint's flaking. It's not really anything we could do about it. Over here, so, uh, like I said, we're gonna cover up all these imperfections here and up in the grill area also as well. That's not Jerry's fault. He threw down a good paint job. All the main areas, the paint is perfect. I'm telling you. I He's been doing it for years. I, I don't know that I'll ever be able to do something like this, but we're gonna tape this off. And we're gonna do this black, and we're gonna tape this off, and do the inside of here black. So, um, I'm gonna go grab me a bite to eat. I need to go get some diesel for my heater, so it's nice and warm and toasty in here, because after we get all of this stuff on, um, I need to clean that, and it is freezing out. I mean, it's it's 20, it's 20 some degrees. I'm, I'm, I'm swarming up a little bit, I'm hoping it's warm enough that I can wash this thing and not have it freeze instantly. Um, and that, and I'll, hopefully it'll be warm enough inside of here. <laughs> but uh, it, it'll keep the car warm and so when I wash it, it won't freeze. But then after we wash it, we'll roll it back in here, dry it off, and um, it should be done for advertisement. All right, guys, so I got it nice and toasty in here now. Um, I flaked some of the loose paint off like I had in the grill areas and stuff and um, so now well you can see I also taped around all the areas where I'm gonna plasti dip uh, now I'm gonna lay some paper down with some tape so I don't have overspray on all those other areas and we're gonna lay down some plasti dip hey! Can you tell me when you want to be in time? There's a million different places and a million different heights. I'll climb the tallest of the mountains, the highest place I find. So that I can look over at before me what is mine. Can you say that I disappeared? Can you say that I wasn't there for you when you went into hiding on the front steps of your porch? guys so about to lay down some plastic dip I got one full can here I went through my stash I got a whole bunch of clear but I don't use the clear very much um so warm your can first that makes it go down a lot better and not splotchy um I just held mine in front of the heater and twisted it and then would take it out and shake it and did it a couple a couple more times just to heat the can it feels about room temperature now um so Let's start laying down some plastic dip, and then here's my advice. If you're masking it like I did, and you're going to peel the tape up, to keep it from peeling off, lay your first coat down very light. That is a good base coat for it to stick to. And then the next two to three coats, lay it down heavy, and don't give it that much time to dry. Uh, just enough time that it's not going to run when you spray the next coat, and uh, then 
as soon as you lay that last coat, start peeling the tape off. Because if you wait and it dries on there, it peels the plastic dip off of the tape. So the sooner you can get the tape off, the better and the more sharp of a line it's going to leave. This is just my little tip for you. Just a little tip for you. Alright guys, so the tape came off good. I only have one imperfection, which is right there. So whenever it dries, I'm actually just going to peel that part off. I'll take uh, a knife very carefully right at that edge, follow that edge, and then I'll just peel that off. Um, it looks a little ripply right now, as you can see. Um, as it dries, it'll level out. That's just how Plasti Dip works. Um, when you, especially when you lay it on thick, like I just did. Um, but yeah, you think that looks better or, or what? It's the new 2001 Honda Accord update bumper. Huh? <laughs> um, once it dries, we'll get the Honda emblem on it and then it'll, it'll look a little bit better. I have it sitting over here on the car. Well, while this is drying, I'm going to move it over here in the corner. And I'm going to move the back bumper over here. And we're going to roll the car out. Well, okay. First, we're going to put the trunk and the interior back together. Then we're going to roll it outside. And I'm going to wash it in the condition it's in. These bumpers obviously do not need washed. Because they're brand new paint, spotless. So we would just wash the car. I'll even wash underneath the bumpers since uh, they're off. And we'll get that crud out of there so it doesn't lay in there and... Uh, uh, help the metal to rust you know what I mean and I also want to degrease under the engine bay because like the strut towers on this thing are like crazy dirty you see that both strut towers are like black and down in here the motor's not really that bad um I did I did brush it off but we'll spray it down you just it's okay to spray an engine down you just don't want to go crazy with it like spraying in your intake tube and and all that stuff and uh don't spray directly on your alternator that's not good but and in in certain electric like try not to spray down in your th these boots should seal 
the spark plug holes, but don't like spray directly on them for a period of time where you, you know what I mean? I'm going to leave the car run actually while I spray it down just because of how cold it is outside. And, uh, this thing needs to heat cycle and then we can change the oil then afterwards. But I want to get it back together before I even go through that trouble. So anyways, I, I need to throw a zip tie on this or it's going to fall off. Um, yeah, let me, let me start throwing this thing back together and then we'll get it out and start cleaning. Alright guys, so my hose is frozen. It is like right around 32 degrees, so I don't think the car is going to freeze while I wash it. I'm just going to get a soapy water bucket and I, the contractor left garbage here whenever he left. There was uh, three construction buckets out here. Now they had cement in them. I rinsed them out the best I could. They're both, all three of them are filled with clean water right now. So I'm just going to hand wash it and then, you know. Uh, dump the buckets on it to clean the water off of it and uh, to get all the soap off and I have a couple other things I want to clean I want to clean uh, the mats that came in the car and uh, these mud flaps before I put them back on the bumper over here so uh, yeah I just had to move some cars around but I'm ready now to fire the Accord up and get her moving All right guys, so um, I washed it and I used the chamois and dried it off. It still has a little bit of uh, water on it, so it looks kind of smudgy right now. I use that wax as you dry stuff that I talk about all the time. Uh, right there, it's good stuff. Anyways, the inside of the glass needs cleaned the whole way around, so I'll get to that, but I have other things to do right now. Um, I'm gonna move it over there for now. Um, then I need to mount these mud flaps So I need to go move some cars and then I'll back this in and uh, put it back over there
and there you have it. I'll tell you what, the paint matches up pretty dang good. I'm sure if you get it out in the sunlight, there's probably differences, but with the clean, with the car cleaned, putting the paint on, okay. Back here, I can tell that the paint is a little bit faded compared to the uh, bumper, but really, it's not off that far. I mean, it, seriously, I think it looks great. I think it looks great. We aren't done yet. I got to rotate these tires and change the oil and then put the floor mats back in. But yeah, it's not perfect. I do think that Plasti Dip gives it a way better appearance up front, kind of more updated. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's what I was going for. I just wanted it to look kind of newer, I guess. I don't know. Not as plain Jane. The black kind of sets it off with the black side skirts. It it just, it works. So, uh, there. You see what I'm saying? The black side skirts, black grill. It just kind of works. So, uh, yeah, let's do a real quick service on this. And then uh, we'll roll that ad footage. And the tightest drain plug award goes to the Accord. That's a crush washer. Don't tight your drain plugs with an impact, kids. I might sound like an amateur, but I have not found the oil uh, filter yet. So I don't know how long ago my action camera died, but um, I just swapped the back wheels to the front, checked the brake pads while I was in there. All the brake pads look new, so that's a plus. The tires are in really good condition. Tires shined while I had them off. I just took the hubcaps off and sprayed them. So that's the easiest way to do it without getting it all over the hubcap. And then um, now I'm about to torque them down, and then we're ready for a test drive through Mexico with the Mexicans. Maybe I'll meet Jose while I'm out there. You know what I mean? Ah, is it following me? I don't think it is. So anyway guys, I need to get this thing out of the garage and take it out and um what is what's the proper term for it let, let me try to be proper about this i gotta go out and see if uh v tech kicks in yo v tech just kicked in yo go to mexico to see if v tech kicks in yo So good. Uh, there's no creaks or rattles or you know anything like that. It rides really smooth. Um, have not tested VTEC out yet. Car's properly warmed up now. Oh 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 oh! Breaking traction. I 
when VTEC kicks in. Honestly, I, I'm still waiting for it to kick in, yo. Uh, but it runs good. It runs really good, actually, for a 2.3 liter. I think it's only like 150 horsepower, give or take, but good on gas. Very good on gas. Um, yeah, I mean, everything works great. I'm uh, gonna try the heater now, since it's cold out. I know it's probably hard for you to see anything. Uh, I'm sorry, Mexico's dark this time of year. <laughs> so, uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it, but yeah, strolling at 60, wheel straight. Um, I did find deer hair underneath this. Um, another thing I did, when I changed the oil, there was uh, a lot of bubbly rust on the oil pan. I took a wire brush to it and uh, scaled all of it off. And then I used a rust reformer on it and recoated it. You know, got a real thick coating on there, you coated everything. And it looked like it might have had an oil leak, but then the more I looked at it, I figured out that um, it actually, that's where the oil filter drains. The oil filter is up on the back side of the motor and there's no tube or anything for it to drain. So when you take it off, it runs down the back side of the motor and then everything gets oily around there. And it just looks like from people changing oil and not cleaning it, it's just gunked up around there. So I cleaned it a little bit, but I mean, all in all, this is a, a very good, you know, little, little ripper. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go, guys. Uh, the thing runs and drives wonderful. No creaks or rattles. It, uh, I, I ran it up to redline. I, I like to test the engines to make sure they're going to hold up. Everything works on the thing. And it it runs and drives great. Um, like I said, it's not, and I mean, like, it's not a perfect car. It does have its dents and dings, uh, you know, but it's a work car. And for somebody, it's going to be a nice, cheap ride. So anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. So uh, hopefully we can move this thing down the road here very shortly. But in, in the meantime, we're going to work on the Eclipse and hopefully get it near finished, if not finished, before we roll another project in here. But I'm going to have my eyes peeled on the internets to see what I can find and hopefully we can get a nice project in here. Um, like I said, I still have the Eclipse, I still have my KTM to rebuild, and uh, I still have the garage to build. So, and my truck, I still have my truck to work on. So it's like endless amounts of garbage here. <laughs> so if you like this episode, go back and check out some other episodes, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Unwreck. Peace out! Gives them a satisfaction they couldn't get any other way. I what? went over there yeah. first no, time no. to look at this. Yeah, you got to look at it. Yeah, look at this. Right, because he had to look at it first. He would